I'll stop here for lunch. Quite substantial. A couple of big concrete tanks, all roofed over. And it's quite cool in there, out of the sun. They will have lunch here at midday. 30k north of where we were camped. Keeps going on to Vox's Hill to the north for a long way up to the Amberdell Highway. We'll turn around here and head back that way to the south to pick up the trailer. That's Goliath Heaven, is it? Can they get it the water? somewhere is it? Yeah. All right then just go into the trough there. That's going to change the population dynamics of the, the wildlife isn't it? There's even a little piece of red Lego old souvenir for our outback collection. Is lining up to come in for a drink now. Oh, look at them all. They're all watching.
they can just reach the water. It should raise the water level. See, they got to get their tail upside down, they are. metres north of the, the water tank is the first June and Anthony thinks he saw the, saw the Aborigines walking out with their spears and looking very warrior like and just going up over the dune to check it out. Three k south of the, the big tanks and going through Bluebush Plain, and there were a number of termite mounds. You must Google termite mounds. See what sort of termites are up here. Well, we're in the true Nullarbor again. We're less than halfway south down to Cook. Anthony's up a couple of k for north. That's 32 k down there. Get out of the wind, and we're just working out. It's more than 800 k from Cook along the railway line. And something less than desirable, sort of stony road. Lots of rocks, which is four or five days driving. So we're just doing our recalculations of ducking down to the air highway or not. Not many trees up here. We might have a nice trip along down at Eucla. Now, where's he getting water from? Yeah, it's very dry here. I don't know where he gets his drink. And not lopes along like Zep, does he? Dodging sharp rocks and things, and here we have to skid, swerve up the embankment for two. They're probably married. Yeah, you're married mm, too. And a couple. A couple. Yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah, seems to be. You're all right too. There he is. Right there. Two little stumpy tails. Yeah. No, don't bite. Blue I wanted tongue. to see if you were all right. <laughs> there you go. Are you the daddy? Hey, are you the daddy in this relationship? Yeah, hello. They stick together yeah. for, you, there you go. for life. Yeah. And just lying on the on the road. Yeah. Well, that's where we nearly cleaned up the two little uh, boots. Just round, furry, very but we've come back to the trig station here that's had the nest we saw before and you can just see his head his little fluffy head in the bottom nest looks like sticks from the ground with the binoculars and the camera you can see that it's feathers it's still halfway to down to cook down there somewhere 
uh, just coming in to cook some of the worst of the road still to go but it's been like this for the last 20k rubbish tip should last them a couple of centuries I reckon a huge pit a drive down into it the biggest hole in the neighborhood it's gonna be a bit bumpy no trains Backyards of several houses, there's three empty ones, and when we said hello to Jan again, a nice lady there said when we were looking for a camp spot, we could use one of the, the houses. There's three empty houses, little Currajong trees, and a steel fence. We've got power and lots of single beds and shelter from the stormy blast for the night. So it'll be quite a good night tonight. This is, this is from the front door of our cabin. We're just watching the local train go by uh, the Pacific National. Oh, it's just a couple of engines. Right. There we are. Doing a bit of shunting. There's a train up the side track towards the rubbish tip. We're going to get it. And we've got three engines there. They're just going to carry that dead engine back with them to Perth, probably. No, I knew they had to keep on the water. Because I read in your Nullarbor book mm. that the railway, when the railway started, That's of course, the driver. it was steam. Um, luggage. Up to a third of their traffic was carrying coal and water. So we say farewell to Cook, the Queen of the, the Nullarbor, like Cook Town, or like Cook Village with a few people. And I think it's about quarter to twelve. And there's a train coming in there. It might be just an engine. It's a bigger street than William Creek. This is JMB, and here comes. A load of tourists, as I said a moment ago. And here comes the Indian Pacific. All the 
tourists will come across to the Jan's uh, tourist shop here. Okay, it's the OHS stuff, so it's it's Doesn't make much noise, does it? No, it's very quiet. Mm. It's very quiet. Mm. Train. How many carriages are there? How many cars on the front? Uh, about 28 today. Uh -huh. Just today. <laughs> <laughs> needs, <laughs> needs wheels. Yeah, oh, well, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now all the senior citizens come down, are they? Yep. All the Zimmer frames will start to come off the train. Oh, there they are. It's, it's fascinating. There'll yeah. be, no, be nothing yeah. under 60 on the train. All their hats and skirts. Everybody's dressed for air conditioned comfort. Yes. Nobody's dusty. No, I don't know how they can. Had a chat there with a couple from Bateman's Bay. You see a hundred odd people suddenly disgorged onto the metropolis of Cook. So we say farewell to Cook, the Queen of the, the Nullarbor, like Cook Town, or like Cook Village for a few people. And I think it's about quarter to twelve, and there's a train coming in there. Might be just an engine. It's a bigger street than William Creek. This is JMB, and here comes a load of tourists, as I said a moment ago. And here comes the Indian Pacific. Tourists will come across to the Jan's uh, tourist shop here. Oh right, okay. It's the OHS stuff. So it's one of 400. Doesn't make much noise, does it? No, it's very quiet. Mm. It's train. Yes, How many carriages are there? How many cars on the front? Uh, about 28 today. Uh -huh. Just Still today. <laughs> <laughs> needs, <laughs> needs wheels. Yeah, oh, well, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now all the senior citizens come down, are they? Yep. All the Zimmer frames will start to come off the train. Oh, there they are. It's, it's fascinating. There, there'll be, no, there'll be nothing there. under 60 on the train. All their hats and skirts. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. no, on the train. Yeah. Everybody's dressed for air conditioned comfort. Yes. Nobody's dusty. No, I don't know how they can. Had a chat there with a couple from Bateman's Bay. You see a hundred odd people suddenly disgorged onto the metropolis of Cook. Back aboard the train. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh, going for another five minutes or something. Maybe ten minutes, in fact. Um, okay. 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 Board the train. That's the last call, last call for the boat. They're all taking their last photos. Thank you.
The last passenger's boarding. They'll probably let off another another siren. Oh, the, um, the plumbing still works. I'll go down this head and start walking. Iron 72, copies of American rolling stock. Rob from Melbourne has been out back travelling and wants to do this. So all the luxury cars on the back. Take your own car. Oh, well, back to back to normality again. Queen City. I had another cup of tea with Jan and her apple crumble, apple cake that, that crumbles, and a long chat for an hour. Now we're at the, the Cook Cemetery, and this is west of the rubbish tip. The 968, two years after I was on the Nullable, and there's another six months old baby here. This might be all the all the babies. momentarily confused as to where we are. Denman, Mana, Road closed, Ghost City of the Nullarbor, that's where we are at Cook. This is the, the school, it was. There's the bike rack. Trees are outgrowing their tyres. And uh, the cook cricket club. Turns court or whatever it used to be. Students must have to drop their cigarette butts at the gate before they go in. There's an original swing. And 30 odd dingoes visit Cook in the drought, and there's a couple of packs outside of town past the cemetery there's a dog pack and there's a dingo pack and they they leave the taps dripping around town a couple of bowls so the dingoes have water F Poss here That's a sign for us. I think that's for, must have been a local sign. See the uh, 
road sign. This is the uh, original sign. Got a newer one up at the station. Is this the way in? Is it? Yeah, this is the way in. It says exit on the other side. No, no. All the other doors are closed, are they? Yeah, they're all locked. They probably. Had night classes. Nice and cool. That's the Cook Cricket Club out there. And the school veranda. Oh, the Cook Cricket Club. There's actually the old pool, some of our old maps say that Cook has a, a swimming pool and a, a very good hospital and school, but they're all, all abandoned now. Even out here their playground equipment doesn't squeak. That's an old stock car racing car. Now this is the way south now, we're just leaving Cook, 3 o'clock after lunch. 105 down the straight road down to the air highway. I think there's one bend on the road, one, one slight curve. I reckon there's traffic, look at that. All dust. Here we go. It's very bad bull dust. We can do 80 kilometers an hour, but it really pours up, fills the sky, and there's a bad patch just there. We just stop for the blowhole on the high speed, stopping it from sticking to the number plate. There's definitely no trees. This is the Nullarbor. There's a deep patch of bull dust there. There's still sharp rocks buried in the dust. Here's our blowhole. See rocks on the bottom. Oh, can you? They're on the way down. Oh. Typical blowhole that we used to climb down. Is it? And you hold your hold your shirt over it. And let it go. <laughs> no, <laughs> it might yeah. just fall in. Slice, it's slice, not, slice, it's just, slice, 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 slice. Yeah. It's not just sucking. It's just holding itself loose. Yeah. 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 Ventura 6N, ah. 5N 98 or something. Ah. Nice. Or cave. Yeah. Um, numbering system. Oh, it's yeah. the, these guys have been mapping the blowholes and caves if they perhaps put, put a marker on each one or something. That would make sense. There are so many of them lately. Oh, so they're certainly all surveyed. I reckon Kathy Brown's one of that box. Yeah. Fire N198. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that's where the the wind's rushing out, and that's the other hole is over there. 
down amongst the spin effects down here. The wind's rushing out. Oh, there it goes. No, oh, there it goes through there. It'll be a squeeze. That's a squeeze past my crocs. Quite negotiable. This is uh, all very typical. It is. As we go it's no up. More than it ever was. Oh well, once you get going up into the, the dark black yeah. yonder. Crack here and it goes straight through, through to there. That one. Through to that one. Through to that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Right. I'll continue on down a less than a hundred the highway. You just had to get a crowbar y sort of thing and force the force the um, tailgate a bit further closed because the little clamp down things had sort of sprung up a notch and were letting in some of this dust. It's pretty oh, amazing dust. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we've got rocket engines behind. 30k, 35k now south of Cook. Yeah. Oh, the lady at Cook, Jan, said there was a bit of bull dust. We only managed about 70 kilometres an hour. 70 kilometres an hour bull dust. Start up. Hey, zombie tail. Oh, was it? We got very dust. Yeah. Poor old Stumpy crossing the road there. It'll be a dusty Stumpy now. We've straddled him all right. The bull dust. side of the road it's still salt bush and blue bush and whatever this little green thing is and the road looks as though it's been swept well it's probably just wind swept or swept with a glance and that's Anthony up on the horizon waiting for us at the old highway crossing starting to get our first trees. Hopefully, 
door leaning over here, so the southerly is the southerly at the moment, we've got a fairly strong heavy in Oh, we might have bull dust in the trailer again that opened up a 